Hello, my friends. Today, I want to talk about a topic called intentional spontaneity. Our mind wants to simplify everything as much as possible in a very complex world. There's so much data, so much stimulation that the brain has to filter. And in order to survive, in order to function, we have to take shortcuts mentally, cognitively. We have to simplify things. And so the brain tends to a state called autopilot. We do a lot of things unconsciously. Think about when you're driving a car. You're not thinking about moving your hand and signaling. You just do it. Your body and your brain know how to do it without having to explain or think about it. And we live much of our life this way. And I like to think of our uh, mind as something that tends to calcify. Over time, it wants to harden in on the experience and the actions and the thought patterns and the feelings that it tends to feel and just run with that. That's autopilot. Our, Our mind will continue to just function the same way over and over. We do the same thing over and over. That's, that's habit for better or for worse. And the worst part, the, the four worst part is that uh, living on autopilot really is quite disempowering. Um, we tend to get the same outcomes, whether they are good or bad, because we're living, functioning exactly the same way from this very rigid way of looking at and functioning in the world. So we are creatures of habit. Um, it's helped us get along for so long, um, yet it limits us in, in the possibilities we have in order to mindfully and powerfully choose and forge new pathways forward for ourselves. So intentional spontaneity is a practice of breaking free from this calcification. Spontaneity is a beautiful, wonderful thing, and I'm glad for anybody who's just spontaneous in general. Intentional spontaneity is an intentional, purposeful um, choice to do something differently than the way that you tend to do it. And the reason that we do this is to purposefully empower and open up your mind. It's to practice choosing something new in a moment where autopilot dictates that you tend to do the same thing over and over again. And what this does is it's going to um, decalcify. It's going to open up these rigid, you know, uh, lines in the mind that tend to just go forward and forge the same path over and over again, whether it's good or or bad for us. And it starts to um, break loose that calcification and allow for a more malleable, open mindset, which is so valuable in life. Again, if we want to create new experiences, if we want to create a better life for ourselves, we are not going to be able to do it on autopilot, acting out, thinking out, feeling out the same patterns that have got us where we are and continue to perpetuate where we are. We have to be able to, in the moment, choose something different. So intentional spontaneity is this little thing that I started practicing in my life um, with my walks in the park. I love to walk. There's a little park down the street and I'll take nice breaks throughout the day to go for a walk. And I find myself walking the exact same loop. I go the same direction every time. And so I've noticed that that's an autopilot behavior. And it's a simple one. It's not a big deal. It it doesn't harm me in any way. But it's still that same pattern of doing things just because my mind is conditioned and used to doing it. So I started practicing intentional spontaneity by just in that moment where I had two paths to choose, I would choose the one that my body wasn't taking me towards. I would consciously choose uh, a different route in a spontaneous way. And I noticed that this would break me free from the conditioning to just go through things mindlessly. It brings you more into the present by consciously choosing something different than autopilot. When we make that choice in that moment, we open ourselves up to more choice, to the power to make choices from a informed, skillful, present place. When we're on autopilot, we're just we're just going through the motions. And you know, autopilot isn't necessarily a bad thing, it serves its purpose, but if we're living life entirely on autopilot, we're missing out on so much. So this simple act of choosing a different path in the park has been really empowering for me and led to feeling more creative and open and um, motivated when I get back from my walk and I feel a little bit less 
like I'm just going through the motions and more sort of on top of and empowered to um, make creative choices as I'm working and playing and, and living life. So some things you can do, um, some simple things you can do uh, are to take a different route to work in the morning. Try a different restaurant. If you go to the same restaurant every week, uh, try a different one. It's a, no, it's a simple thing, and there's a, there's a fear of, oh, maybe it's not as good, but um, that spontaneity and trying something can really be empowering for you. Brush your teeth with your opposite hand. I know I'm not going to do that motion because <laughs> it's going to look not like I'm brushing my teeth. Brush your teeth with your opposite hand. You know, they say that this is a good way to train your brain to build new neural pathways. Same idea. You know, we're trying something, we're doing something different outside of what the the brain is used to doing, the mind is used to doing, and we're 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 opening ourselves up to learn um, and and stay in a state of receptivity to new things, to new experiences, new possibilities, and to learn new skills. Uh, so with all of that in mind, I encourage you to ask yourself, sorry, pulling up my notes here, what is something that you do every day or every week exactly the same that you could switch up just the tiniest little bit without, um, you know, and the idea is not to have radical shifts in your life. It's to take small, tiny, um, intentionally spontaneous steps in little um, not so important areas that can start to build up momentum towards feeling more empowered in order to make changes and choose differently in, in some of the bigger, um, more ingrained areas of our life. So I take a moment to reflect like where, where, what's a little thing that you can do. Again, that, that walk is taking a different route is, is a very simple thing that can make a big difference. Um, I'll wrap up just by saying that, uh, you know, the intention of this practice, again, is to empower ourselves. It's a little simple trick that we can um, integrate into our lives in really simple but I believe quite effective ways. You know, the way that we do one thing is the way that we do everything. So if we start to unwind autopilot um, in these small functional ways, well, it gives us more power and space and mindfulness and presence to unwind autopilot in the bigger ways, the things that are really truly getting in our way from living our best lives. What route you take on a walk is not, you know, really a, a make or break thing, but uh, being able to choose differently in those small areas will lead to more um, capacity to choose differently in, in some of the big areas. So get out there, do something different. Um, get spontaneous, be intentional about it.